is mourning the loss of remote area medicals founder Stan Brock. He was a legend, that is for sure. And Russell Biven is live at Rams headquarters this morning with the legacy and mission behind this whole thing. I mean, wow, he made such an impact on hundreds of thousands of people around the world. And that doesn't come without having the power to just rally the people, Russell. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, well said, rallying the people, some 125,000 volunteers. And we've been here talking with the folks at, at Ram this morning about how he valued these volunteers, how they really made this whole machine run, and how many of the volunteers now work at Ram full time. Some come from all around the country, some come from all around the world, just to volunteer with Remote Area Medical. Of course, it's had great national exposure. Uh, talking about the great need, the great cause that it does. And Stan made sure that the mission will continue. It is all about the mission. And folks here at, at RAM have, have set that up. They set that up years ago uh, with Stan to put a CEO in place and more of a, uh, a board in place and different members here. So if something were to happen to Stan, this mission would continue that he loved so much. The promise he made in 1985 while in Guyana that he promised people in that Indian tribe that he would help people in remote areas of the world get free access to medical care. And that is what he has done some 740,000 patients later. Quite a life, quite a legacy, Abby. Mike and I were looking through the pictures going, he looks like a movie star. And he was a movie star. Just another thing you might not have uh, known about. And Sam he was. Rock. Yeah. Uh, WBIR.com for the latest. Russ, thanks for all your coverage this morning. We appreciate it. He will certainly be missed.